rom-coms get a really bad rep, but there are really good ones out there. A personal favorite movie of all time, top three easy, is Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, which is a Marilyn Monroe movie. It's essentially about a, a gold digger who gets married, is about to get married to this wealthy guy. The father doesn't approve, so while she's on a cruise, he's trying to get dirt on her in order to have proof to nullify and disapprove of this marriage. Of course, hijinks ensue as the... <laughs> the biggest thing that I like about this movie is the friendship between the main characters played by Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell. Every frame, every second, they feel like they genuinely like each other. They're very different people. They're very different characters. Uh, Lorelai Lee, or Marilyn Monroe's character, is a shallow, ditzy gold digger who's also a master manipulator, whereas Dorothy, played by Jane Russell, she's the voice of reason, but she's also very sarcastic, very witty, and tends and likes poor, good-looking guys. <laughs> Which is very funny, though. There's a great quip about, oh, I think I'm falling in love with that slob. You just like him because he's poor. <laughs> they make fun of each other a lot, these two. But never in a very mean way. It's always in a very playful way. In a way where they understand each other's flaws, but they still get along really well. And they're still there for each other. And they're constantly helping each other out. which is really sweet and really nice to see. I don't see too many movies that are about friendship. Not the way this is. Not to mention, this is also a movie that's really interesting about people and their vices. You know, Lorelai, she likes money, whereas Dorothy likes good-looking guys. And she has a really sweet, believable romance with the detective hired to get dirt on Lorelai. I, even him, and him, the love interest male character, Eddie Malone, he even acknowledges that he's an honest guy in a dirty line of work, being a private investigator. It's very subtle and doesn't go too into it, but you do, you see that it makes for an interesting character. Not to mention the jokes and the wit and the hijinks they get into are so funny and creative. And they're in a very classy way. One thing that's great about this movie is kind of sexy, but it's not trashy. They don't swear. There's no nudity. But there's still... It is still funny. It is still engaging. The romance is believable. You get... It doesn't feel sugar-coated either. And there's a lot of innuendo in this movie, especially... In this one song that Jane Russell sings called Ain't There Anyone Here For Love, which is very, very funny. And another thing I like about this movie is that there are a lot of imperfections in it. Not within the craft of the story, but the dancing is not in completely in sync all the time. And Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell are, they're not the greatest singers. They're not the greatest dancers. But my god, they have so much personality and so much chemistry and so much passion. This Everyone in this looks like they're having a ton of fun. And I, it's my understanding that Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell got along really well in real life. It shows. Because their friendship is really strong and really genuine and is the whole focus of the film. They're... They are there for each other. They got each other's back, and I like that. It's also, it's a very positive movie. It's one thing that it, it's a comedy that I think has a very good satire on dating and these relationships between how we treat men and women. There's a particularly good speech at the end that Marilyn Monroe delivers when she's caught by the fiance's father, he says to her, oh, you just want to marry my son for his money. Oh, no, honest. Then what do you want to marry him for? I want to marry him for your money. <laughs> and then she says, don't you know that a man being rich is like a girl being pretty? 
You wouldn't marry a man just because he's rich, but my goodness, doesn't it help? And you tell your daughters that you want to marry, have them marry a rich guy because then they'll be taken care of, they'll be provided for, and they'll have all these wonderful things. Why is it so bad that I want that for myself? I thought that's a legitimately good point because the first, everything in the movie up to that point, you see her as a gold digger, you see her being manipulative, you see her being shallow and ditzy and getting, really trying to gain a lot of material goods. But then you see how her world view, and it's like, yeah, that actually kind of makes sense. So I think it's a very good reflection on society, particularly at that point. I don't know if that's as true nowadays. But the message still holds up. And these characters still hold up. They're people with different personalities, different worldviews, different philosophies, all coming together. And coming to an understanding. I really, really like that. Or if you're just in it for some beautiful costumes, good wit, good songs, that's in there too. Highly recommend it. Gentlemen prefer blondes, even though brunettes are just as good.